There it is. Now it's open. All right, people here. All right. Good to see you. Good morning. Good morning. Okay. Here you go over here. All right. So uh, those of you who um, don't have me in 319K, uh, let me just remind you that my workflow is very informal. Um, well, this is even more informal than than regular because there's no grade. Um, and so if, yeah, and this screen is so small, I can't actually see the chat, okay? Oops, start video, I can't see, you know, you know, whatever. All right, you're gonna see, I didn't comb my hair yet today, okay. Um, anyway, so my screen is so small, I can't see your, uh, I can't see the chat. So uh, if you got a question, just unmute yourself and pipe in. Um, yeah, I don't know my um, 11 to 12 today, I'll do an office hour. I won't present any new material. Uh, the 11 to 12 time is to get as much of you up to speed, okay? So um, you, you know you're on track if at the end of midnight you get as far as I get at 11 o'clock, okay? So in particular, um, you are completely, completely on track if you're, um, if you're, uh, um, if your circuit is approximately uh, as done as mine, okay, approximately. Now, if it isn't, don't give up, don't give up, you know, it's not, you know, it's, uh, it's not that complicated, okay, at least this part is not that complicated. Uh, it's basically just, uh, you know, a drawing program at this point. Uh, questions before I get started? Um, I am following along in the Google Doc. Um, okay, yeah, show the Google Doc, show the Google Doc. Um, and so each day I have this one here, I guess, this one. Yeah, this one. Um, um, my agenda is down here on Tuesday, okay? That's what I plan to do. I don't have quite as much as I did last time. All right, let's see. Uh, put my name. Thematic. Okay, I'm going to do that. All right. Uh, all right. 8.5, 8.3, whatever. Mm. Yeah, my numbers are bad. Who cares? All right. Uh, questions before I get started? All right, so um, if you remember, our ultimate goal is to create this piece of paper, um, which is a mock-up of the printed circuit board. Uh, so as we transition through the week, it's be uh, convenient for you to have, put your hands on your 319K baggie. Uh, now you don't have these two headers uh, that you'll need for the launch pad, but other than that, you should have all the parts that will eventually go on your Print circuit board. All right. All right. So share. All right. Um, it's a good idea to put your name on there. So if you remember the workflow here is uh, scroll makes it uh, zooms in. You see, I'm zoom. I'm scrolling. I put my mouse where I want to zoom and I scroll. Uh, I first click what I want to do. And then I click what I want to then I'm click it to do it. So this is an info. Uh, you can put your name there. It is now the 16th. Okay. And uh, you can give it whatever you want. Okay. So um, scroll down. So I got my name on there. All right. So, um, copy test point. Okay. Yeah. I've skipped something from last time. Um, what this is a um, this is a term called design for test. 
And that is when it's time to test the system, you're gonna need a way to test it. And um, when you have a whiteboard printed circuit board, you know, those white wireless breadboard, it's easy to add wires and test it and get your voltmeter connected. But when you have a printed circuit board, not so easy. So I know when I test the DAC, I'm gonna need to put my voltmeter on there. And so what I'm gonna do is add a test point. Now I can do two, it two ways. I can use the copy paste, all right? So I can take an existing test point, all right? So I can take an existing test point here and copy it. That's this thing here. You can't quite see the X, but it's right there. And then, uh, oops, that's the wrong one, let's see. Uh, let's take a different one. Yeah, let's do it the other way. Let's just add it as a part. Okay, add a part, add a part. All right, come on, open up the library. No, let's select it, that's fine. And uh, schematic, add part, add, okay. There we go. Yeah, it's coming. All right, so I'm opening up all the libraries. There are a lot of libraries. Um, like I said, I'm going to take it out of the 445L. Uh, I started this one for 445L, and it's called Test Point. Uh, test Point. In fact, there's going to be two Test Point. Uh, okay, where, yeah, well, Test Point 2. Okay, so when you click on a part, you can see both the views. Uh, up here is what it looks like in schematic view, uh, which is basically a wire. Uh, and over here, it looks like what it looks like in PCB B view, which is essentially two holes. And I'm going to clip off an end of the resistor, and I'm going to solder it onto those two wires right there. And that's so I'm going to put it here. Okay. Uh, let's see. I'm going to need one for the slide pot, too. So I'm going to make, I'll leave a second one there. All right. Escape cancel. All right. The next thing I'm going to do is going to wire up this test point and I'm going to wire it up. I put it in it there. Okay. Oops. Uh, 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 I did this problem happened last time. So it's good. It happened again. You can see my grid is bad. Escape. Uh, Z. Uh, my view grid. Yeah. If I make this to 0.05, I can hit it. Did you notice I couldn't hit the, hit the trace? Um, and again, if I leave, if I leave the um, display on, you can see why it is I couldn't hit it. In the previous thing, there was no spot for me to hit. So I, I shortened up my grid and now I can hit it. All right. Um, all right, if you wanna test, test, check both wires, that's fine. Uh, now I've connected both of the holes to the test point. The last thing I'm gonna do is gonna give it a good name. All right, so this is an interesting workflow here. Just like before, I clicked the circle dot, uh, but I don't want the dot. I want the, the test point, so I'm going to do a right click, okay? And now I have the part, and then I did a left click, okay? And I'm going to rename this deck, okay? So that way, when it goes over to the, the board, down here, you can see, right here, you can see it's called DAC, right? Right there, you can see it's called DAC, this part right here. Okay, all right, back. All right, so I did that, uh, copy test point. All right, so let's go, all right. Um, yeah, it's time to do the, now I do believe I wired up quite a bit of the, um, of the OLED. The only thing I haven't done is the, now if you go back over here, you can see what I gotta do for the OLED is wire a one and a half K resistor from the clock line to the power line. Uh, this will make your OLED run faster, by the way. Um, uh, those who, uh, those of you who know what a, what a capacitor is, know that uh, capacitor times, um, capacitor, capacitance times resistance is time. I'm gonna move it. There we go. And that's my clock right there. So I'm gonna move this guy over here. 
I'm going to wire up. Uh, so adding, uh, uh, lowering the resistance uh, between the clock and the power line uh, will make it go faster. Okay. All right. So, and again, this dangling end out here actually causes that to be, uh, right, PD0. Okay. PD0 is the I squared C clock. Okay. All right. I did that one. All right. Uh, slide pop. All right. Here we go. Slide pop. Okay, so we go over here, we see my, again, this is lab eight. Yeah, a little preview of where we're going in this class. Lab eight is, a, is the big slide pot. It's got three pins. Um, one of the hardest things you had to do in actual lab eight, if you had a breadboard, is to figure out which pins are which. Uh, but built into the eagle is which pins are which. And so um, when I hook up the slide pot, where'd it go with it? Where did I put it? Yeah, there it is. Uh, it's automatically connected. So I'm going to need to put this side to 3.3. Uh, and so I'm going to grab, do a, let's try, let's try the copy paste this time. Copy that guy. There we go. That worked. Paste, paste. Uh, and then I need a ground. There's one already. I don't want to need to copy it. I'll just move it. There we go. All right. You see, so now I have uh, the remnants of the circuit. And so I'm going to wire it up. Click, 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 click. Okay, so I've wired it up. I'll go back and check, check the nets in a moment. Uh, I'm going to make another one of these dangling uh, nets. All right, double click, there we go. Um, and I'm gonna rename it. Okay, what do I need to connect it to? Hold on, I forgot, go back over here. PD2, okay, I'm gonna need to connect it to PD2. All right, over here. So I'm gonna rename it, name, click on the net and name it PD2, okay? Now that's gonna connect two nets together, and I'm, but I'm gonna be happy about that, all right? There we go, yeah, I do want that to happen. All right, and I give it a name, put it there. All right. Um, like I said, uh, we need a way to test it. When you get to lab eight, you're going to need to put your voltmeter on that. Okay. And so uh, I'm going to go get that other test point that I put down. All right. So put down another second test point somewhere. There it is. And I'm going to use it. Um, I'm going to use it. I'm going to move it up there. Move, click, uh, click. Okay, so this time what I'm going to do is before I wire it up, uh, I am going to rename it. Okay, uh, and so I'm going to name it slide pod or pod or something. Okay, again, that's all uppercase. So again, when I go over to the PCB view, that test point will have a silk screen on it uh, for what I want. All right. All right, all righty, build nine and a test point. There we go, slide pot. Um, okay, now this, the next two, the next two things I'm gonna do are completely optional. Uh, you don't have to do them, it just, uh, you know, it's gonna be kind of cool, so I'm gonna do it. And that is, um, I put down a three pin jumper and I'm gonna give it a name. Uh, Dr. Valvano. Yeah, sure, question. Don't we want to connect the uh, tester? Yes, thank you, thank you. Uh, I don't know who said it, but they're absolutely right. I got, I got. You mean to connect this? You mean yeah. that? Yeah, of course. Yeah. So choose net. Thank you. Yeah, you. Uh, and then again, there are two wires on the on this test point. Uh, you can, you need to connect at least one of them. But I, as you can see, in all these things, I've connected both of them. Okay. All right. Thank you. Um, so this is going to be my lab nine, um, connector. So if you had two boards and you wanted to communicate through them, we're going to, we could wire up these. And so if I look over in the, in the schematic view for that, I can see that one of the pins is square. You see that? See that one of the pins is square. Okay. And that pin the square pin is the one I want to be ground. 
All right, so I'm gonna check, connect a pin here and uh, ground it. I, okay, so let's, uh, I think it's pin one, although I'm not sure to be honest with you. So I'm gonna connect pin one to, I'm gonna, I want it to ground on the bottom. So I'm gonna go ahead and rotate it. So watch this, I do I like I'm moving it. All right, but I'm gonna right click it. And now pin one is on the bottom. All right, there we go. So I'm gonna connect pin one to a ground. Okay, so I'm gonna do a copy, click, 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 click. And yes, I do wanna merge N1 with ground. And then I'm going to go over and make sure it's the square one that is um, that is ground. Yeah, you see the square one here. You remember what these yellow lines are? The netlist. The that is the those are that is the netlist was a good answer. Uh, the the fancy name is it's a rat's nest. It represents connections that need to be made. Okay, so it um, and so you can actually do an info on it and see that that is a ground, that is a ground net, okay? And it's called an air wire, okay? An air wire means, uh, yeah, you haven't connected it up yet, okay? All right, save, switch, save. Um, all right, so again, in lab nine, uh, the only thing we're gonna do here, and oops, not that one, sorry, this one. In lab nine, uh, what we, I don't need Kyle, I just clicked the wrong one. Um, what we need to do is connect up PC four and five. Okay. Uh, five happens to be the transmitter. Um, and so I'm just going to connect it up over here. All right. Da, 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 da. Click, click. There we go. Click, double click. All right. And rename. This one, it doesn't matter which one it is. It's your system, PC5. Yes, and PC4. Um, the other thing that will be useful is when you're doing, the other reason to do this is I can give you one of those um, little black jumpers. Stop, share. So when you do lab nine, when you do lab nine, you're either, since you're, you no longer have access to the bottom of your launch pad, because it's plugged into the PCB, you're either going to need one of these female, female jumper wires to go on top of your launch pad, or you're going to need one of these black, um, one of these black jumpers that will go over top of two of those pins, okay? Uh, and so that's the other reason to put that thing on there is so that you can do lab nine, all right? All right, so we got that. All right, so it's over here, that's nice. Again, uh, go ahead and slow me down if I'm going too fast and you don't understand what I'm doing. Um, schematic. Hey, Dr. Lovano? Yeah. What's the name of this jumper part that you added? Yeah. Okay. Now it's actually not a PCB. What's the name of this thing right here? Uh, like I was looking in the list for adding parts, and I didn't find this one. You see, this um, here is a three pin. I'm going to add another one. All right. How about a, I'm going to do an, I'm going to do another one. Okay. For cool. and I'll and I'll do it again. It's a it's a header. Uh, it's a header three pin. I'm going to do a second one. All right. Watch me. I'll do it slower this time. Okay. You ready? Yeah, thank you. That's a great question. It's called a three pin header. And let me just, let me do it again. Let me add part. All right, so it is got a three in it. H, you see pin header. And these are 0.1 inch header uh, uh, parts, depending on how many pins you want. Okay, now if I open this up, I'll see that there are three options. Okay, and so uh, this option here is the simple one. It's a straight, uh, you know, again, pin one was the ground. Well, pin one was the square pin. Uh, pin, 
And then there was uh, this one here, which is a right angle part. If you wanted your connector to go off right angle, that's it would go off that direction. And actually, because I'm going to not want a square pin for this example, I'm going to choose the for this second three pin header, I'm going to choose the one with all round. You see all the all the pins are round. Okay, so I'm going to choose that one. All right, uh, double click. All right. So the purpose of this one, I've got to find a place to put it uh, down here. Okay. All right. Stop. Escape. 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 Cancel. All right. Now, um, as you remember, PD3, PD3 is, um, I'm going to rotate it so it comes out the other side. Again, which is pin one, two, and three doesn't matter. Pin two is the middle one. So if you remember, what is PD, what is PD3 connected to? You remember? Yeah, Texas. Display. Yeah, that's a display. So I'm going to put the, this is a three pin header that's going to sit up on my board. Okay. And I am going to, uh, again, take one of those little black jumpers I just, I just talked about and give you the option of, of jumpering the two analog signals you're going to see here in 319K. One of them is the slide pot, which is PD2. Oops. And the other one is the DAC. Okay, I got to remember what I called it. Hold on. Let's go over here and figure out what, remember what I called this net. DAC out. You see, I called it DAC out, not DAC. And I'm going to rename this one DAC out. So that I can put that jumper into this three pin header and connect to Texas scope. And let's give it a name because that was complicated. All right. We're going to give, um, I'm going to click uh, net. I'm going to click text. Okay. I got to do it the other way around. Uh, select 97 layer info, select text. And then here I'm going to say jumper uh, PD2. PD3, PD2 to PD3 for slide pot. And maybe I'll put uh, Texas display uh, connection. Now, if you see down here, if I do a shift enter, it'll let me do multiple lines. And then I'm going, oops, that's what I meant to do multiple lines. Okay, sorry, escape. Cancel info. And then I'm going to do a shift enter. Jumper PD2 to uh, DAC for DAC out. Okay, I guess it's jumper DAC out to, all right, for DAC. All right, so that'll give you an option, oh, PD3. Uh, I can't get that backwards. Three, three, two. Okay, so I'm going to give myself instructions for what this is, okay? What the purpose of this is. And that other one was confusing, so I'm going to give it a label too. So yeah, so why don't I put some labels down here? This is lab nine. Lab nine communication. You are communication. Yeah, that works close enough. All right, and then we'll do a uh, escape. Uh, lab eight, um, slide pop. So you're gonna basically make a distance measurement. And, oops, I misspelled it. Escape, cancel, info, it's lab eight. All right. Again, it's good to, um, here's, a, here's a hallmark of good design. In six months, could you come back to this and figure out what you were, what you were doing, okay? That's the, 
that's the essence of this documentation here is to get a sense of what we're doing. Okay, so where are we going? Bill Scum? Yeah, go. Out of curiosity, since that we're filling up our sheet, is there a way to extend the size of the sheet? Okay, yes. Okay, so the, he said, can I have more than one sheet? Now, the uh, the interesting thing, okay, so I'm, I'm pretty much at a stopping spot. I'm at a stop, stopping spot. So let me save it, okay? And, uh, and then do a... Uh, print setup, uh, and then I'm going to choose my printer. Obviously, I'm divorced from my real printer. I'm sitting here in the bushes, so I'm going to print a PDF. Uh, I'm going to choose landscape. You can see that it's all going to fit on a page, okay? And so I'm going to press OK. That's the setup, and then I'm going to press print, and then I'm going to print. This is the print. Again, it looks pretty, so I'm going. To... <clears throat> now, when we when the schematic is being printed, it doesn't matter about the scale, okay? Um, and so this is going to be Tuesday, right? Okay. <clears throat> now, when you if you have the full version of Eagle, in other words, you could figure out how to do the um, do the um, you know, the educational thing, you can add more, more schematics, right? And they'll all look like this, it just be more pages. Um, yeah, I don't want to mess it up. But yeah, you can add, uh, you could either make this one bigger, but if you make it bigger, it won't print very nicely on this on the page, right? So, and so this is what just got printed. Yeah. Did I answer your question? You can, uh, yeah. Let me. Uh, I, I, I'm willing to try, but let me. Let me. Let me finish what I. The, what I wanted to get done today, or. Um, no, you answered my question. Thanks. Okay. Good. All right. Optional stuff. All right. So now. Um, okay. Some of you don't like 319K. It's too boring, right? Not all of you, but some of you, okay? And so what can we do to enhance the fun? Okay, so up here under additional libraries, okay, where did I put it? Data sheets, libraries, maybe it after that. I'll put it here somewhere. Yeah, that one, okay? Okay. There are lots of libraries out there that you could potentially add, okay? So I'm just gonna Google it because I'm too lazy to look up where I put the, okay? So SparkFun, um, all the people who sell you crap will sell you Eagle libraries to design with it, okay? So whether it be Texas Instruments or Cirrus Logic or SparkFun, uh, library. So there it is. That's actually where I got it. Okay. So uh, Google knows first one. Okay. So this is a public library. Okay. With hundreds of parts. Um, and yeah, it's just uh, six days ago was the last, last commit. Now I did download this and put it in the spot where I'm working. Um, okay, QP Camp, not Google Drive. I want this one. That's the box. Where's my box? Okay, box. Three nineteen K. I've already I've already downloaded it and unpacked it. Oops, missed it. Uh, lectures. Spring Break Camp. Okay, library. Okay, so this is essentially a download of that web page I just showed you. Okay. All right. And so what I did is I took, just like I did for the 445L library, I took this full uh, pathway, right? That's the full pathway to this Eagle library. I did a copy and then over in over in 
in the control panel, I went directories and then I added it. Pretty sure, did I add it yet? Maybe I did it on the other computer. No, I didn't add it yet on this one, okay. Uh, semicolon space paste, okay. So now I have another whole library that I can choose from or more precisely, I got bunches of libraries I can choose from, okay? And this is a big, there's not a big as some of them, right? But, um, come on, open up. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to, yeah, let's go over here and show you what I'm gonna buy. Okay, so uh, I'm assuming I got on the internet and bought this here, okay? Right? I assumed I got on the internet and bought this joystick. Now, from a 319K standpoint, is this cheating? No, it's not because it's only $4 and you can spend $4. Is it educationally more powerful? Not really, because if you look very carefully, this joystick here is a 10K is a potentiometer, which is exactly like everybody else's, except it's more fun to play. All right, so I'm gonna put this part on my PCB and then I'm gonna take it off. Okay, yeah, 3D, all sorts of cool stuff. I can look at this thing, okay? You can see it's got, it's got six wires here, okay? It's essentially two potentiometers uh, and then a bunch of, of, of things that allow me to, to, to solder it down. Uh, okay, so I pretended I bought that. And so I'm going to go over here. And again, this is an optional thing. I'm going to do, uh, let's save it just in case it crashes. Uh, I'm going to do add part. And now I'm going to go up and choose a different library. Okay, crap, I got to remember where I found it. I did this yesterday. Did this just yesterday. Okay. Uh, okay. All righty. Okay, I may have to, I may have to cancel, I may have to activate it, hold on. Uh, okay, which one was, yeah, see, I got it, I got, it's got to make it green. All right, which one was it? Coils, connectors, switches, jumpers, oh crap, I did find it yesterday, displays, semiconductor connectors, aesthetics. Hardware, jumpers, is it a switch? There it is, joystick, no, joystick. yeah, joystick. Yeah, it's one of these, all right? It's one of these, so that's the one I want. So, all right, T. All right, so options. Oh, I can click it. Yeah, it's not that one. It's not that one. It's that one. You see, uh, when I looked at it, it looked just like this. Okay. So I don't know if I can double click it. Oh, yeah. Here we go. I double clicked it in the library uh, and then it added it to my schematic. Okay. So I cancel. All right. So the, um, oh, yeah, cool. It's got, um, it's got two switches. Um, I mean, it's got one switch here and two slide pots there. Um, I am going to delete it because that's not what I'm going to do tomorrow. But I just wanted to show you that you could get on the Internet, buy some crap, find its library and then connect it up to your board. OK, and that's obviously not what I'm going to do. I'm going to kill it. Uh, Oh yeah, let me show you what it looks like on the uh, schematic view before I kill it. Okay. All right, so uh, the problem with it is it's a fairly large doodah and you got to fit everything on that stupid board. And so uh, you may not, you know, it's going to be harder to route this up, uh, but this is what it looks like. This is what it will look like on a print circuit board. And there's the switch, you see. There's a switch there, and then there's two slide pots. Uh, okay, okay, I'm gonna kill it. Kill it. Delete. All right, all right. I'm at a stopping spot. 
and so um, I'm going to begin the process, the fun process of thinking about how this works. Okay, design, build, save, all right. Um, there is a tool called E, I don't know what E stands for, electronics something check, I don't know, electrical. Okay, so I'm gonna click it. Um, this is um, to be expected. Uh, there is a net on my board called PA5, which I didn't use. Uh, there is a net, there's nets, I didn't use PA6, PA7, P, uh, PC6, uh, PC7, PD6, PD7, I didn't use these pins. Um, uh, my switch, um, oh, this is actually a mistake. So let's, uh, let's do that. Let's give a value to JP1 and 2. Um, yeah, I don't really need a value for the switches. Okay, so uh, clear proof. Okay, I'm just gonna exit. All right, I'm gonna give this thing a value, so it shows up on the. Um, so it shows up on the, um, and so this was my UART. Okay, uh, so it shows up on the. Um, okay, now I got a mess here. Let me get out of my way here. Um, as a silk, I'll give this one a value. Uh, this was my Texas. Yeah. Okay, that's my Texas. Uh, all right. This is a. Um, this I've seen this in a lot of. Uh, I've seen this in a lot of uh, of. Eagle demos is you ask the question: uh, Are is this is this device here actually connected to those two wires, or are they just close? Okay, and what a lot of people do is they grab the the device and they move it. You can see that if I grab the device and move it, that it's actually connected. Okay. Uh, let's do another one. If I grab this switch and move it, I can see that it's connected to where I want it. Okay. And so this is a workflow for making sure that things that look like they're connected, uh, look like they're connected on the schematic are actually connected. The other thing is when I get to the PCB, I am going to pretend I didn't even do a schematic and make sure all my air wires are perfect. Okay. Uh, but because I've made this mistake too many times that had things that look like they were connected, but weren't, okay? All right, let's see. Uh, now, if I do a, a um, ERC, whatever that stands for, I got two less errors, okay? So I'm going to either clear the errors or ignore them or just quit this, I don't care. All right, questions on this before I go on to the next more fun part? Okay, so he waited. If you can get to where I'm at now, by tonight, you're fully on, on track, okay? If you can't, please come to office hours 11 to 12 and let's get you going, all right? That's my plan. All right, so now um, the fun part is about ready to begin. And that is, if you look at this from a uh, board level, okay, again, the yellow wires are the rat's nest or air wires. And our job is to connect the air wires, but that's not where we start. We're gonna start with the ergonomic what do we want this to look like, to feel like, to, um, to be, this is why I need a big screen here, I can't see. What do we want this to look like um, when I'm holding it, okay? And so one of the first things you're gonna decide is whether you're gonna hold this horizontally 
or vertically, okay? I don't care. I mean, I, uh, um, I did the other one. Uh, uh, my, my son, Daniel, did the other one, assuming we were holding it. In fact, let me show it to you. Let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. All right, so let me go back over here, save this one. Save, save. Uh, All right, this is, this is my answer. This is what I did last week or over the weekend to um, to solve this problem let me go over here uh, put it in the uh, put it in the, in the directories okay. and so now I can open up this one okay one of these okay uh solution yeah there we go that one. yes i do okay all right so this one it was designed laid out as if i was holding it horizontally and so my left thumb were twiggling this slide bar and my right thumb or right thumb was hitting these three buttons okay and the in this particular scheme, I had my headphone jack coming out the top. Okay, uh, I don't care where you put crap, but that was this one, right? Um, so I'm gonna do I'm gonna do a different I'm gonna do a different configuration uh, today. All right, GS schematics. You can see that it only let me have one one design open at a time. Now I can copy paste from one design to the other as long as I'm in the same version of Eagle. All right, so um, what I'm gonna do first is put in the big parts, okay? And so I'm gonna do a group move. So I'm going to select, oh. yeah, there we go select these resistors. Be careful not to hit the microcontroller and that not a delete, but a move. Right click here. No, nope, that isn't it. Right click here. Move, okay, there we go. Move group, there we go. See, move group. And then put it sort of out of the way while I'm working on crap, okay? Uh, I'm gonna take, now it's gonna be hard for me to hit those three. I don't know, maybe I can. Take these resistors here. Again, I don't want to hit the, I don't want to move the microcontroller. Uh, move, right click, move group, and then I'll put them down there. All right. uh, okay. Oh, my, okay, so now what I'm going to do, let me move these switches out of the way, these resistors. Now, if you have the, um, the free version of Eagle, it won't let you move anything off the board. You'll have to move it on the board, okay? So the first thing I'm going to do is decide whether I want to go horizontal or vertical. Now, if you, if, you, if you can imagine this internal square right here, see this internal square, this internal rectangle, that is the extent of the actual display, okay? With, uh, with up being here and the zero zero position on the screen in the upper left and then the 63 127 lower right and so if i'm going to hold this vertical i'm going to leave the screen in this rotation except i may want to move the jack out of the way okay so move my jack and again every um part is got a little grab bar. Okay, so I'm gonna move it. Okay, where's my grab bar here? That one. Oh, where's oh here it is. Who put it over there? Okay, you see it right there? Move it up. So now in this in this uh, workflow, 
the screen here is near the top of the board, assuming I'm holding it vertical, right? So it, the board in this context is lying on its side. Okay? Um, and so depending what you're playing, right? And so if I'm playing Space Invaders, uh, the, the guys may be coming down. Crap, I don't know if I'm playing Space Invaders. Yeah, I mean, that's maybe why he rotated it. Uh, I don't know. Don't matter. You got to make your board. This is the hard. This is really either the most fun or the most hard thing to do. Okay. Um, now the um, layers. Okay. This is. Let's do the grid again. The the grid is really important here. Uh, everything on this in this dimension. All the parts in, in, well, at least all but the jack uh, in 440 in 319K and H are on a 0.1 inch center. And so having a grid snap at a multiple, or in this case, one fourth of, a, of an inch will make it easy to hit things. Okay. So the grid here is absolutely essential to be able to do this. Okay. The second is the layers now become way more interesting, okay? So let me uh, show you the top and then I'll show you the bottom. If I hide the things with the B in it, bottom, origins, names, values, stop, that's probably enough, all right? Now, what you see are only what you would see if you were on the top of the printed circuit board. And you notice you don't see the launch pad. You see the, the holes, the top side holes for the soldering of the launch pad. You don't see the launch pad. Whereas if I go to view grid layers, sorry, and I show you, don't show you the top, but show you the bottom, okay? I get rid of the tops. Uh, okay, is there a choice? No. Um, I show you the bottoms, but not the tops. Yeah, don't, don't, don't change any crap. Please don't change any of the names. Okay. okay. Uh, now it turns out one is gonna be copper on the top. 16 or blue is gonna be copper on the bottom. Uh, green will be the pads where you can solder to. We don't have any vias yet. You'll see it when I make it. Uh, 19 is the unrouted. Those are the air wires, all right? So if I get rid of them, you can see they go away. Um, 20, again, don't move 20. 20 is the size of the board. And if you make a great big board, I don't want to buy it because it's expensive, okay? So I assume you're not going to change the size of the board, okay? Uh, the other thing is um, 21, 20. 21, 22, 23, 24, um, uh, 25, and 26 will show up as silk screen, okay? Um, and so this is the bottom of what the board looks like, 25. I got one more that I got to get rid of, T values. It turns out 28 isn't, um, isn't, a, isn't buildable either. Okay, there's some more down here that are on that make it, uh, yeah. yeah, better. These don't show up either. All right, let's just go. All right, so that's what it looks like on the bottom of the board. Okay, there's one more. Uh, this little square thing is something that's not that does not buildable. All right, let's go back. Let's put them back here. Let's go for them. Or maybe it was this one. Yeah, there it goes. That's the one you don't see. You don't see layer 51. Layer 51 and 52 will not show up on anything. All right. All right. So now where do you want the, you know, where do you want the slide pot? So again, if I'm holding this, um, yeah, that may be why my son made it the other way. Yeah. 
Yeah, I'm gonna. I'm gonna. I'm gonna I, I don't. I don't want to build this one. Okay, so I'm gonna move this guy and do what my son did. I wrote that was a right click. Okay, so it did a rotate, and so now I'm gonna put it here in the middle of the of the screen. I'm gonna put my up button up. I'm going to put my right button right. Now, here's what I will do. I'll move the buttons closer together. He had them pretty far apart. Now, from an ergonomic uh, standpoint, I think it's going to be, again, I'm going to move the resistors out of the way because I'll, I can put them wherever I want. Um, it may be easier to uh, to play this game if the audio jack is coming down. So the wire to the headphones is coming down on the board. So any rotation of the wire causes it to, okay, so that'd be the wrong direction, right? That would be wrong. Rotate it that way. Okay. And I'm going to get it close to the bottom. Um, this is a drill hole for my connector. All right. All right, what else? So I got my left thumb over here and I got my right thumb on these three buttons. Let's say you wanted to line these up perfectly, okay? If I do an info on this and I capture the, uh, I capture the, uh, yeah, the, the X position, I copied that and I go here, and do a right, and I make change the X position. Now they're exactly lined, and I'll do the same thing now. Okay, so I could divide the Y in half. My son would do this. Uh, I'll just make these aligned at least. The Y position here, copy. It's already it's already exactly the same. All right. Oh, so, uh, okay, where, where would you like to have the LEDs? Now, again, the launch pad's on the bottom, okay? So you could put the LEDs wherever you want, um, depending upon what they mean. Uh, you, may put, you may put one over here. I don't care. Put them wherever you want. This is your game. Put one. I can put one over here. Um, I could put one here, put, put two of them here for, all right, all right, you got the right one, yes, all right, I've seen something I don't like, I don't like the yellow, green, and red, I don't like the LED one, two, and three, and so, um, I'm going to give them names. Right? You see the you see that LED three? That's gonna show up as silk. Now what the crap does that mean? That don't mean anything to me. And so I'm gonna go back over here and change the names of this. Uh, I guess it's info. Okay, I'm gonna click on the thing. It's right there, that's where it is. And rather call it red, or rather than call it LED one. Uh, I'm going to call it hit or miss or shoot or score or something that is going to be uh, indicative of what my game is doing. Okay. So again, rather than calling it LED2, I'll call it, uh, I don't know, bump. I don't know, whatever your game has to be, right? So I'm going to give them names that aren't so boring, okay? Bonus or... Okay. Um, if, I, if I don't want it to say red, uh, I can do one or two things. If I don't want it to say yellow, I can move the yellow off the screen, or I can move the yellow to a layer which isn't built, okay? So 
uh, yeah, actually 25, 27 isn't built. 27 won't be built. So uh, the yellow won't show up on the printed circuit board. Okay, so uh, just to make my thing pretty, I'm gonna move it off the screen. All right, all right, so um, let's, uh, let's, let's uh, summarize what we've done today, okay? What we've done today is uh, finish the circuit and put onto the uh, put onto the um, the PCB the most important things, things that I can see with my eyes and touch with my fingers. Okay, and I'm going to go ahead and pause here. Uh, if you can, if you can get yourself to the point where your SCH is completely done, all right, uh, you're, you're on track uh, to finish. If for some reason you can't um, get this, uh, you're going to come to office hours either today at 11 or tomorrow at 11 or tomorrow at 7. So I've got, um, from an office standpoint, um, I've got um, office hours, where's my office hours? Office hours, office hours, yeah. From an office hour standpoint, I have 11 to 12, uh, Tuesday, Wednesday, and I also have um, office hours, where to go? I didn't write it down, Zoom link on the office hours. Yeah, here, um, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, so not Tuesday. 7, 8 p.m. All right, so I'm going to stop sharing. I'm going to stop recording, and I'm going to pause for questions. All right.